Drawo. I'm Jessalyn. Let's dive into what's new in DevTools in Chrome 106. There are tons of improvements we have done to improve your debugging experience on web applications, especially those that are built with frameworks or abstractions like Angular, React, or Vue. In this episode, I will share each of these features by using Angular as an example. Let's go. This page consists of two buttons and a label. The code is written in TypeScript with the name app.component. It is located in the source app folder. Great. So what's next if you want to set a breakpoint and start debugging the application in DevTools? Open the sources panel. You don't see the source app folder and there is no app.component file in the list. They are under the Webpack tree. Browsers only read JavaScript. Your TypeScript files are compiled into JavaScript with a bundler like Webpack. If you want to always see your actual source code first, click on the three dot menu here, enable group by author and deploy. This way, you can navigate to your component quicker. You can now set the breakpoint and start debugging. That's great. But we can go further. There are still some auto-generated files which you might not care about. Let's hide them all together. For example, in an Angular project, you can see the Webpack and Node Modules folder. When you want to search for a file, for example, the button component, there might be a lot of irrelevant results showing up in the list. Let's fix this. We can click on the three dot menu and select Hide Ignore List Sources to hide them in the navigation tree. Search the file again. Now, it only shows you relevant results. Behind the scenes, this Ignore List is possible because DevTools added an ex-Google Ignore List extension in the source map, and Angular provide that information. If your favorite bundler and framework generates the Ignore List in the source map, then DevTools can process that accordingly and make the navigation easier for you. Apart from that, let's further ignore more information that you might not need during debugging, especially in your stack trace. Click on the increment button. There is an error in the console. Expand the stack trace to understand the error further. <sighs> Good that it shows the app.component somewhere in the list. However, I totally have no idea about Zone.js or any of this. They are the framework code, not mine. The stack trace should help you to identify the errors in your code. The good news is DevTools now automatically ignores the known third-party scripts. How do we know what to ignore? It is from the same source map extension earlier, if the framework provides. Click on Settings. Ignore list. The ignore third party script is enabled by default. Go back to our code. Click on the increment button again. Nice. The stack tray now shows only our components. It shows that both app and button components might be the culprits. In some cases, you might want to really see the whole stack trace. Click on show more to view the complete list. The sources panel will also show the same stack trace, ignoring the third party scripts. Set the breakpoint at the increment function and click the button. The core stack shows only the app and the button components. Click on the frame to jump to the code. If you need to, enable the show ignore list frames to view the full list. What a long list! Not only that, DevTools also improved the stack trace for asynchronous operations. In the increment function, there is an async operation to set timeout. Previously, when you break in the function, DevTools only shows the frame that led to the task execution. It didn't show the actual root cause of the entire operation. With the current DevTools, it shows you the entire chain of operation. The call originates from the button click, then increment function and the timeout. Are you wondering about what the zone means here? 
Angular used NZZone to handle all the async tasks. Behind the scenes, DevTools added a new console.create task function. Frameworks can use this function to hint DevTools on how to connect the code. Angular has updated NGZone to use console.create task when available. That's how you get a nicer stack trace without extra effort. The framework did that for you. There are more debugging improvements coming soon. You can learn more about them in these two blog posts. Finally, here is a bonus tip. You can add any file into the ignore list manually. Right-click on a file in the sources panel. Select add to ignore list if you don't need it for your debugging. You can also remove it from the list later or configure it in the ignore list tab. All right, there are more new features covered in my blog post. And as usual, the link is in my video description. Thanks for watching. See you in four weeks for Chrome 107. Ciao!